outweighs the bad. Whether that's George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Fielding Yost, or Bo Schembechler. And I believe kids need heroes. And as a kid, Bo was always one of mine, and, and he still is. I think adults need heroes too, especially in these times. So, outside of outside of my father and grandfather, I don't know if there's a man that's had a bigger effect on, on me in my life. Anybody else want to say something? Julie, you're never at a loss of words. That's for sure. Um. I, I went to school, my, my first year was both last year's coaching. And, um, you know, by that time, uh, he was he was held up as a saint of Michigan college football. And I think we had already known it was his last year. Um, and that was that was the year. I, I actually wasn't a Michigan fan before that, believe it or not. I, I came to school, I was a, I grew up in East Lansing. Um, and uh, just, I was just swept away with it. And, uh, you know, all the things that he did. And, and, and I've, uh, I've kind of become a um, hobby historian. And the stories and the battles, especially between he and Woody, um, have made up a lot of the stuff that, that I write about. And, uh, you know, always uh, thank him for that. And, and miss them. In fact, uh, this is something, Jeff, thanks for doing this, man. I, I think this is just a really, really cool tradition. Um, so it's cool to be a part of it today. You think about how special the 10-year war was and the rivalry is, you know, frankly, Michigan-Ohio State rivalry is the biggest asset that the Big Ten has. And I honestly believe that. You think of Think of how much different that year. You think of the Snow Bowl of 1950, and Michigan, Michigan wins that game. Ohio State fires their coach, and they hire Woody Hayes. And, and I, you know, we think how ugly things are now as far as the rivalry goes. Those 10 years, you know, the wall was shorter back then. That you know, Woody was on the wall in our end, in our end zone, in the in the south end zone. You know, leading cheers, tearing up yard markers. <laughs> 71. Um, you know, when you think of the Ohio State team coming out of the tunnel and tearing down the Unplugged Sports U banner, that, that would that would cause a riot today. And they did they did that 40 years ago. It's, it's almost 50 years ago. It's re it's really crazy. Guys, Cliff, Christian Parker, anybody? Don't let me be the only loud mouth. <laughs> All right, well, you put a flower there for Bo. All right. I don't think I should put it one. You can put it to the side. No. Where are the videos going after them? It's like something you have on the house here in the quarter. This is Sam Dodge from the Ann Arbor News uh, reporting from the Forest Hill Cemetery. Uh, this is the grave walk to uh, Bo Schembechler's grave, also uh, honoring uh, Fielding Yost and uh, Bob Eufer, a former announcer, and then Fielding Yost, uh, the first great coach for the University of Michigan. Um, this year's uh, this year has been organized by uh, Jeff Holzhauer, also known as the Michigan Superfan, um, and. 
it's just a commemoration of what they love about the University of Michigan, complicated and all. They uh, recognize uh, how some things have changed over the last couple of years, particularly with uh, some of the reevaluation of Fielding Yost um, and his uh, issues with Willis Ward, um, keeping a, a black player off the field against Georgia Tech, uh, beginning of the century. Uh, Beauchamp Beckler um, and the Wilmer Hale report that came out about his uh, knowledge of some of the sexual abuse uh, of his uh, players by Dr. Robert Anderson. Uh, one of the things that I uh, was particularly uh, touched by was uh, one of the organizers uh, went to school with John Bond, who was one of the more prominent uh, victims of Dr. Anderson. And he's one, talked about... Two, you know what to do. I'll get back in a second. So continuing, I said, um, Bo Schembechler, um, a lot of the people here have recognized uh, that Bo's history and legacy is more complicated after the last couple of years with uh, Dr. Anderson. Um, however, uh, they recognize that, uh, you know, the totality of a person is uh, worth uh, preserving and that um, the lessons... The lessons that uh, Bo Schembechler was able to impart in terms of uh, teamwork and hard work and perseverance are worth remembering. Um, the innovation of Fielding Yost um, as an athletic director is uh, worth remembering. And, um, you know, Bob Eufer, uh the passion of a Michigan fan, is worth remembering. Um, organizer Jeff Holzhauer uh, said that, um, you know, Michigan's a complicated place, but uh, overall, it has a standard of excellence academically and athletically, and it, you know, is worth uh, holding Michigan to a higher standard. Um, he completely agrees with uh, the protests by the sexual assault survivors of Dr. Anderson, and he agrees with their protest, but he also wants to preserve the history of Michigan athletics. So... This is uh, Sam Dodge from the Ann Arbor News reporting from Forest Hill Cemetery.